In December last year, the Ministry of Finance submitted to Parliament a loan request of 2.46 billion to fund the deficit in the budget of the 2019-2020 financial year. Madam Speaker, I don't know. The justification for borrowing this money from Stanbic Bank and the Trade Development Bank is revenue shortfalls and budget expenditure pressures. Largely we want the Ministry of Finance. Officials from the Ministry of Finance have told the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee that part of this money will finance the budget deficit of 518 billion shillings the Electoral Commission requires to organize the 2021 general elections. But elections are things that constitutional time frame is set, you can't postpone. If we are not ready with the money, even you can't even borrow money. To, if we are not ready with the money, Mr. Mugambe, you can tell Ugandans here, yeah, I'm ready to listen, that that money is not there. So, One of the areas that we are actually going to be looking at is financing the supplementary requirement for electoral commission once that supplementary has been approved for revenue. So the supplementary request is in parliament, it has not been considered. As However, some MPs have described borrowing for elections as poor planning and a shame for Uganda. At policy level, there is no way we will be borrowing money to finance our elections. Absolutely, it, it doesn't make sense. The borrowing we are talking about is a borrowing for budget support. And budget support means the whole budget, including everything in the budget. The Electoral Commission claims the funds they have can only take them up to nomination of candidates. By June last year, Uganda's budget debt had risen to 45.8 trillion shillings, which some economists refer to as unsustainable. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.